Microsoft's Windows 8 Beta is now available for download, and I'll show you how to install it. Hi, I'm Seth Rosenblatt, and installing the Windows 8 Consumer Preview, as it is officially known, is really quite easy. There are some requirements, though. Most Windows 7 computers ought to be able to handle Windows 8. However, you want to make sure you have a 1 GHz or faster processor, 1 GB of RAM for a 32-bit computer, or 2 GB for a 64-bit computer a 16-gig hard drive for 32-bit or 20-gig hard drive for 64-bit, a graphics card that supports Microsoft DirectX 9 or higher, and there are also some extras that won't work without certain specifics. The touch features require, obviously, a monitor or tablet touch screen. Accessing the Windows Store requires an internet connection, duh, but also a screen resolution of at least 1024 by 768. And to snap apps, which lets you split the screen between two apps, you'll need a resolution of at least 1366 by 768. Got all that? There'll be a quiz later. To get started, go to preview.windows.com. Now from there, there are two paths that you can take. The first is very easy. Click Get It Now, enter your email address and country, and begin downloading the installer. It will automatically detect the appropriate version for your system. From there, you can either overwrite your current operating system or set up a partition using a tool like EaseUS Partition Master before installing it. The second path is definitely more advanced because you're going to put the Windows 8 Beta on a disk or a thumb drive, like this. From the same Windows site, click the ISO link here and fill in your information. Choose the appropriate version for your system, either 32-bit or 64-bit. You've also got some localization options for Chinese, French, German, and Japanese. Sorry though, no love for Basque speakers. Download the proper ISO for your system. If you're on XP, you'll have to use a separate program to convert the ISO to an installer. Most DVD burners include this. For Vista and Windows 7 users, you can use the Windows 7 USB DVD download tool from the Microsoft Store. Download the program, run it, and point it towards the Windows 8 ISO source file that you just downloaded. Then choose USB device or DVD as appropriate, insert the USB key or DVD, and begin copying. And there you go. Windows 8 in, I mean, on a flash. A flash drive. Love it or hate it, you know you want to see Windows 8 for yourself. For CNET, I'm Seth Rosenblatt.